Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 8th day in the world of May 2023. I am Grace Dawkins and you can achieve first major headlines. Governor Ikbazu calls for fresh approach in fight against insecurity. Presidential election petitions are joined. One killed as policemen rescue 58 adoptees in Kogi State. The take marches will write back with details and many more stay connected. experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation leading the way in high performance lubricants master supermodel oil is as durable as titanium Welcome back, now the details. The Executive Governor of Abia State, Dr. Okezik Bazu, has stated that the challenge of, its, of security in the southeast of the country is challenging, urging security agencies to adopt a new approach in dealing with the maniac. According to the Governor, criminal elements are changing their mode of operation, which he believes calls for a superior method among security agents to curtail the challenges. The governor stated this during the 2023 first quarter meeting for Southeast Zonal State Directors of Security on Friday, May 5th at the Abia State Command of the DSS headquarters in Omahi Abia State. The presidential election petition tribunal has adjourned its sitting on Wednesday, May 10th. Matters brought before it challenging the outcome of the 2023 presidential election. This was disclosed in a tweet on Monday by one of the spokespersons for the Labour Party, Kenneth Okonkwo. Bola Tinibu, the next president, can fix Nigeria with God's help, according to Pastor Enoch Adeboe, the RCCG general overseer. Nigeria would prosper under Tinibu's leadership, according to Adeboe. The cleric asked Tinibu to realize Nigeria's desire for a new country. He said this at the RCCG headquarters in Ebute Meta. Adeboe delivered a speech in his special assistance place, Pastor Dele Balogun. The Arawa Consultative Forum has hailed Air Peace Alin Onyema and Al Haji Aliko Dangote for helping in evacuation of Nigerians from Sudan to Nigeria. ACF noted that in spite of Nigeria's difficulties as a nation, Air Peace Alin Onyema and Al Haji Aliko Dangote have shown their patriotism and love for the country. The chairman of the ACF, Chief Aldu Ogbe, in a statement on Sunday expressed the forum's joy and relief as are the efforts of the Nigerian government, namely the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, and the Diaspora Organization in bringing back the youth and all the caught up in the sad event in Sudan. A group under the Upper Progressive Congress on Sunday called on the president to let Asiwaju Bola Hamid Tinibu and the National Working Committee members to show an entities by ensuring that one geopolitical zone does not produce two presiding officers in either of the two chambers ahead of the 10th National Assembly inauguration. The warning is coming on the heel of a planned crucial meeting of the APCWC on Monday to determine which regions and consensus candidates should be considered for Senate presidency and speaker and other principal offices. The Action Alliance AA has withdrawn its petition objecting to Bola Tinibu, the All Progressive Congress APC candidate, winning the presidential election on February 25th. At the pre-hearing meeting of the presidential election tribunal on Monday, the party declared their withdrawal. The federal government is working out modalities to begin direct air service to Pakistan in its efforts to boost trade volume b between both nations currently pledged at 210 million US dollars and ultimately offer more flight connections to Nigeria. To this end, the Ministry of Aviation, Mr. Hadi Serika, has at the weekend led a delegation to Islamabad, Pakistan, where he met with different government officials in civil aviation, trade and commerce to foster economic and trade relations. A 16-year-old boy, Mustafa Sanusi, was on Friday evening clubbed to death by his father, Abdul Wahib Sanusi, for allegedly stealing one measure 
Mudu of Millet in Tanaga village in Wara, in Warawa local government of Kanu state. A witness said Abdul Wahib went overboard in attempt to install discipline on his 16 year old son. He lost control of his emotions and clubbed the poor boy to death. Spokesman of the Kanu state police command SP Abdullahi Haruna Kiawa told newsmen that they were on the case and would disclose their findings to the media. Police operate, operatives have rescued 58 kidnapped victims at Umudulu Forest, Gegu local government area of Kogi State, bordering the Duna Forest, Nasrawa State, and all the identified kidnappers then in communities continue, contagious to the Federal Capital Territory. Spokesperson of the FCT Police Command, Josephine Ada, disclosed this in a statement on Sunday, saying that the bandits and kidnappers are citing the security team coordinated by the police engaged the security team in a shootout due on the foreign scene at least 22 people have died after a packed tourist boat capsized in india's southern kerala state the death toll could rise as rescue efforts are on the way on monday and the vessel is pulled from moody waters overcrowding caused the double decker boat to capsize abdul nazar junior superintendent of police of mali puram district told Reuters. On sports, former Super Eagles goalkeeper Aloy Agu has won the Golden Eagles to keep things tight at the backhead of their clash with Burkina Faso in the ongoing 2023 under 17 African Cup of Nations. Nigeria made it to the stage after beating South Africa in the first Group B game while Burkina Faso defeated Cameroon 2-1 on Sunday. Still in sports, Minister of Sports and Youth Development Mr. Sunday Dari has joined millions of blue dates in Nigeria and beyond in congratulating Super Eagle striker Victor Sihem for his remarkable achievement in propelling his Italian Serie A club and 3-5C Napoli to winning the 2022 stroke 2023 Serie A title. In applauding, Osihen Dari noted that the 24-year-old has succeeded in imprinting his name in the folklore of Italian football and sports by becoming only the second Nigerian after legendary Obafemi Akinwumi Martins to win the Italian Serie A championship. This brings us to the end of the news at 8. And before we go, we can buy major stories. Government Basel calls for fresh approach in fight against insecurity. Presidential election petitions are joined. One killed as pleas rescue 58 adoptees in Kogi State. These and many more different platforms. Just look on to www www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on all social media platforms being displayed on the screen. I am Grace Dawkins and you can tell us please and I trust the safe.